let us solve a question on constrained optimization regarding profit maximization the question is like this a manager hires labor and rent capital in a competitive market okay so we have an entrepreneur or manager he purchases a labor and capital from a competitive market currently uh, the wage rate is uh, two dollars per hour for labor and capital is rented at eight dollars per hour the unit price of the product is two dollars and the total cost is 576 dollars suppose the firm's production function is, is as given as q is equal to 10 k to the power 0 0.5 times l to the power 0 0.5 plus 15 we have to find out uh, the profit maximizing level of labor and capital that this firm should employ and the maximum profit that this firm should get and we have to sketch the equilibrium condition also okay so let's try to uh, see what is being given to us so we are being given actually we are being given wage rate is equal to two dollars rental rate of capital is equal to eight dollars also the price of the product let's write, write it like this p subscript q denotes the price of the product uh, is being given as as two dollars okay now what is our production function production function is q is equal to 10 uh, k to the power 0 0.5 l to the power 0 0.5 plus 15 okay we are being given the production function and we want to maximize our maximize our profit subject to, uh, to the given uh, budget constraint and what is our uh, cost constraint what you whatever you call it here our cost is uh, also being given as a c is equal to 576 that means we want to maximize our profit such that uh, our cost constraint is that means wage rate times units of labor employed plus rental rate of capital into units of capital required should be equal to the cost okay maximize uh, our output subject to the subject to the cost constraint okay what is wage rate wage rate is being given as 2 so i will write 2l uh, plus rental rate of capital is 8 so k should be equal to 576 576 okay we want to maximize our output here subject to this constraint okay so how do you how do we use uh, or rather how do we solve these type of questions either we use the Lagrange's method or the tangency condition okay let's apply the tangency condition tangency condition tells us marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital should be equal to the ratio of uh, their prices that means price of labor upon price of capital okay now what is marginal rate of substitution that is simply the marginal product of labor upon marginal product of capital should be equal to price of labor upon price of capital okay simple stuff now what is mpl mpl is nothing but the derivative of our partial derivative of our production function with respect to labor okay so this is our production function let's uh, partially differentiate at uh, this with respect to l so uh, we have this 0 0.5 will become coefficient so 0 0.5 into 10 so we have 0 0.5 into 10 okay k to the power 0 0.5 will remain same and we have l to the power and 0 0.5 minus 1 okay by power function rule plus the derivative of a constant is zero okay so if we rewrite it uh, this will become 0.5 of 10 is 5 we have k to the power 0 0.5 l to the power 0 0.5 minus 1 comes out to be minus 0 0.5 okay this is our mpl similarly our marginal product of capital is simply the derivative of our production function partially with respect to k okay now taking derivative with respect to k so this 0 0.5 will become coefficient so we have uh, 0 0.5 into 10 then we have k to the power uh, 0 0.5 and this will be subtracted by 1 by power function rule uh, then we have l to the power 0 0.5 and derivative of a constant with respect to capital here will be obviously 0 so if we rewrite it 0 0.5 of 10 minus 5 we have k to the power uh, 0.5 minus 1 is minus 0 0.5 l to the power 0 0.5 this is our mpk okay 
so this is our mpk this is our mpl now we have to use this very function now mpl upon mpk this is our mpl let's write the mpl is that is uh, rather we are using this very condition here mpl upon mpk so our mpl is uh, 5 k to the power 0 0.5 l to the power let me write it in bold words okay so I will write here 5 k to the power 0.5 l to the power minus 0.5 this is our marginal product of labor upon marginal product of capital which we calculate that is 5 k to the power minus 0.5 l to the power 0.5 should be equal to ratio of the price price of labor is being given as is so we can write price of labor is wage rate upon rental rate of capital okay so price of labor is wage rate and price of capital is the rental rate of capital so we have this uh, as 2 and 8 so i can write it like this 2 upon 8 okay so here we can do some cancellation this gets cancelled okay another thing uh, we can do here that if i transpose this k to the power uh, this k to the power minus 0 0.5 to the denominator it will get multiplied with this k and the exponent of this uh, k will change its sign that means if we have k to the power 0 0.5 upon k to the power minus 0 0.5 i can write it like this k to the power 0 0.5 times if i transpose this to numerator it will get multiplied like this k and the exponent sign will change it is minus 0.5 it will become plus 0 0.5 okay now we have same basis so we have k 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 we can add up the exponent as 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 okay it will become uh, k to the power 1 which is equal to k okay i will uh, uh, do same thing for uh, this uh, we have l to the power minus 0 0.5 upon l to the power 0 0.5 this time i will transpose this l to denominator so this will become 1 upon l to the power 0 0.5 and when i transpose this it will get multiplied but exponent sign will change it is minus 0 0.5 it will become plus 0 0.5 and here we have 1 upon bases are same we can add up the exponent as 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 so this will become 1 upon l okay so if i rewrite it it will become like this uh, i will get k in the denominator and l on the numerator should be equal to 2 upon 8 okay so now if we solve this for k that means k is equal to transposing this it will become 2 upon 8 l okay transposing l it will get multiplied now using this condition using this uh, uh, k is equal to 2 upon 8 l just plug this value in our budget constraint in this budget constraint okay so in this constraint so then we have 2 times l plus 8 times k 8 into the value of k is on 2 upon 8 l should be equal to 2 sorry what is being given 576 576 8 at 8, 8 cancel 2 l 2 l is 4 l 4 l is equal to 576 which implies l is equal to 576 upon 4 so we will get uh four ones are four we have five seven six yes now four ones are four we are left with four four fours are sixteen uh, we are left with one four fours are sixteen again okay so we got one hundred forty four okay so one hundred forty four okay so k sorry our l is equal to 144 now just plug this value of l again in our constraint so to get the value of k so we have 2 the value of l is 144 plus 8k 576 so 
so this is akat soi to yakha soi to zat arshi so 288 plus 8k is equal to 576 let me use another color so we which implies 8k is equal to 576 minus 288 okay what is 76 minus 288 let's be sharan over the earth in the team is sharan over the earth again so we have so run into the so 288 that means 8k is equal to 288 or k is equal to 288 upon 8 now what is 288 upon 8 so we have here 8 3 is our 24 we are left with alternate so the door we have 8 a arch here style is so we have 48 so we get 36 that means our k will be equal to 36 okay so we got the optimal value of capital is 36 and optimal value of label is 144 okay clear now what we need to do we need to see what is our second uh, second second part is what is maximum profit okay so we need to calculate the profit also okay now we know that uh, profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost okay and what is total revenue price into quantity produced minus total cost okay now what is being given us price price is being given us uh, as price of output is two dollar per unit we are producing uh, so first we need to calculate uh, the total output produced okay so for that i will rub some uh, so let me see uh, let me rub this uh, first okay Jai Hanstangeshi Karokia. Okay. So I don't have the space and that's why I'm getting confused uh, here. So uh, now what will be our total output? So our total output will be equal to Q. Just plug the optimal value of labor and capital into our objective function or in our production function, whatever you call it here. So we have 10 K to the power 0 0.5. So uh, X to the power 0 0.5 can be written as under root of x okay you know this very stuff very well so i can write it here under root and the value of k is 36 then we have under root uh, the uh, the value of l is 144 plus 15 okay so this is 10 this is perfect to square so this will become under root 36 can be written as uh, 6 square because 6 6 is 36 square root and cancel so we get 6 only okay so i can write here 6 and into similarly 144 under root can be written as 12 square 144 can be written as 12 square you go cancel we are left with 12 plus 15 okay I hope I am making myself clear. So this is 10, 6 are 60. So we have 6 is uh, 10 into 120. So we have 120 into 6 is 6, 0 are 6, 6, 2 are 12, 6, 1 are 6, that is 7, uh, 20 plus 15. So we got 735. Okay. Uh, 735. Now we can calculate the total profit. Okay. Maximum profit. We know profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. And total revenue is equal to price into quantity minus total cost is being given us. So price is being given us as uh, $2 per unit and we are producing 735 units minus what is total cost. Total cost is being given us uh, 576. Okay, 576. Okay, so let's do some uh, 
calculation here 2 5 are 10 2 3 are 6 that is 7 2 7 are 14 so 1 4 7 0 minus 5 is 7 6 okay so let's try to calculate so done 0 0 0 Satan is at the zero. Uh, uh, now. So I guess it is nine nine hundred. So our maximum profit will be equal to nine hundred. Okay. So last part was uh, to sketch the equilibrium condition. Okay. So equilibrium condition is simple. So we were being given. Let us say labor is on this axis, capital is on this axis, okay. So we have the production constraint, okay. So let us say this is our production constraint as we have the budget constraint. Uh, and what will be it is uh, interceptors, okay. So we have 2L plus 8K is equal to 576. Uh, when we put L is equal to 0, so 8K is equal to 576, so 576 upon 8, this will come out to be 8, 8, 8, 8, this is 56, okay, so we get 8, 2, 16, so 8, 2, here the intercept will be 72, sorry here the intercept will be 72 similarly if we put uh, this is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 what will be l l is equal to 576 upon 2 so this is 2 2 are 4 carry 2 7 2 are 16 uh, 2 are 16 so i guess it is 288 here okay i am not sure about the calculation because i am i am having the fast of ramadan and it is i am very exhausted this time okay so this is our production iso count okay our budget iso count tangency condition requires that uh, sorry this is our iso count that means q is equal to this 10 k to the power 0 0.5 uh, l to the power 0 0.5 plus 15 something okay so tangency condition requires this point uh, where our iso count is tangent to this uh, production uh, constraint okay or cost constraint so this uh, this condition is uh, rather you know fulfilled at this point where our marginal rate of technical substitution is equal to price of labor upon price of capital or this point also we can write it like this mpl upon mpk is equal to Raise your temper, rental rate of capital. Okay, I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.